Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today actually begins the end of footies as we know it with the season timer running out and of course the footies best of re-release still out for another week. But we've got Team 5 going out of packs today and some SBCs expiring and that's making us question, will EA make this last week of footies? stand out what are they going to do different today what cover star icon are we going to get what footies cards are going to be in packs we discussed it all today guys look through the leaks and talk about what might drop on this footy friday of fifa 23 if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it subscribe if you're new and let's go over yesterday's content first because what a day of content actually from ea sports not only a player sbc but a big time player pick coming back and let's start off with that player pick the 94 plus ea gave it a cheeky little plus one upgrade we had the 93 plus that went away on wednesday they re-released a 94 plus shapeshifters or footies player pick now it's of course a little bit more expensive four squads required but everything's free at this stage right with the 85 times 10 guys if you're trying to pack any high rated footies cards 97 like ginola 98 rashford and any of the 99s this is the sbc to do it from we opened a bunch in the second channel i'll link it up above right here and we finally hit some of those 99s i didn't on my account unfortunately i had some decent pack pulls but these are consistently giving out really good chances at those 99 rated cards unfortunately it's only two times repeatable but we can do it again this weekend it's not going to refresh today according to the refresh timer it's going to be either saturday or sunday i have to re look at it it's sometimes a little bit weird you guys know where it says like two days on the refresh timer but sometimes that means like two days 23 hours instead of actually being like a legit two days so that's kind of the issue there a lot of prices on the market dropped because of that pick everybody is doing this pick right now in this game and they're packing some of those insane cards and that goes to show you that these cards like rashford and ginola are getting packed Packed. Look at a lot of the footies prices yesterday. Rashford went from 685,000 coins all the way down to 600k. Now he's back up to almost 700,000 coins. But a lot of your even team two, three, four footies cards that are out of packs dropped off a lot in value yesterday. Griezmann was 513k. He was down to low 400s. So a lot of those dropped off in value because people were packing them untradeable, and so they were able to sell their tradable version they had from their team. Not that we're going to talk a lot about the market, but that SPC is just amazing, right? Best chance of getting a 99 right now in this game. And then, of course, we have to talk about this player SPC, Kefrem Taram, a FIFA legend this year, an inform of future stars and a team of the season that have all been very overpowered and very meta. The Budget Vieira, some people call this card, 200,000 coins to complete aka free with the 84 times 10 it's like everything's free right now in this game it's great right great time to be playing fifa because everything's craftable and the 84 times 10 is not one of those sbcs that's expiring today neither is the 85 times 10 so the crafting yet again continues but what a card 99 dribbling six foot four high high work rates a premium item and some people were even talking about it in the stream yesterday is this a replacement for vanja malinkovic savage in my opinion, I think no, but I can only imagine this card is really, really cracked in game. So, GG's to EA for dropping a hype player SBC at a great price. Of course, that is also going to have to feel pretty meta with 99 dribbling being 6'4". And as meta as that card is in this game, that's a very, very must-do SBC. Unless your midfield's already stocked, stacked and loaded with all the other crazy footies cards that we have. But we like that from EA. That is good content. Now, I also want to direct your attention to the Milestones tab and Objectives where we had the footies week 6 XP dropped. And like EA promised, it is a double XP week. I believe everything that's going to drop this entire week should be double XP. All of this is, right? These were 300 last week. They're now 600. 600 per section marquee matchups dropped yesterday as well as one of the first things that we could do alongside of the gameplay grind to get that xp if you're still working towards level 40 or level 41 right now but this alluded to one of the earlier leaks and one of the leaks that we have for an upcoming cover star icon sbc lothar mateus guys we thought that might have been the sbc today on friday it is not because he is actually going to be getting an SBC later on this weekend on Sunday, the 27th, which is kind of confusing to us now because if we're going to take a look at the leaks that we have for today, we only have two leaks as of right now. And Mateus is that first leak, but he's not dropping today. And the other player that is leaked does not seem to be the type of player that we would expect to see 
on a promo Friday. And I want to talk about that straight off the bat. Cover star icons. We've been talking about it a lot recently. First of all, this Mateus, it's now confirmed to be Sunday. It's not exactly these stats. This is a predicted card on Twitter from Foot Scoreboard and Criminal X on Twitter. But this could be pretty close to what it actually is. They've been juicing up these cover star icons. That's a massive one, right? GG's to EA. Very deserved. He's very meta. He could play center back in game as well. Very useful for end game squad building. 97, 98 rated is not anywhere out of the question. And that's going to be a cracked, cracked card. Mateus has been really good all year long. I know a lot of people that have used his cards and loved him. He's insane every single year, so that's a big one. Now, the other leak is not as big of a name or in terms of the FIFA meta and hype, a goalkeeper, Iker Casillas, cover star icon coming soon as well. And to a lot of us, this doesn't feel like a hype enough player to be selected as a cover star icon SBC for a promo Friday like today. Not taking anything away from Casillas, but compare that to, again, the... Um, Players we've had released on Fridays recently, right? We had the Ronaldinho, we had the Rooney, we've had the uh, Roberto Carlos, big name players, Zidane, of course, right? Big name players have been dropped on Fridays, guys. So I think that, for me, leaves the door open that there is still yet another cover star icon that could potentially be dropped today as an SBC. Maybe they go without a cover star icon SBC today, and maybe they just bring it back to footies players. That I do not know, but... We've got cover star icon SBCs throughout almost the entirety of footies, and I hope that continues again today. But it probably is not going to be Casillas unless EA want to drop him as an SBC. Casillas, to me, could actually be our objective player today because it just seems to be more of like an objective type level card, right? We've had Skulls that was in objectives. Maybe Casillas is going to be that next icon inside of this part of the menus. And I would say today, if you're checking for objectives, make sure you're checking under the Milestones tab today because everything under the Objectives tab is going to run out and expire on Thursday. As you can see, the countdown, of course, for the footy season ends on Thursday at Division Rivals Rewards. So all of the new Milestones should be dropping uh, today in Milestones, all the new objective content should be in here unless EA wanted to expire on Thursday and then it'll drop in the objective section. But I just wanted to point that out and talk about that with you guys because these are the only two leaks that we really have right now and EA have told us when Mateus is going to drop. So the real question mark is this guy and it doesn't seem to be quite on the level with the type of player we would expect EA to be dropping today as a player SBC. Now, speaking of other SBCs, we have some SBCs expiring today. We're going to get into what's coming into packs in just a second. SBCs that are expiring today, the beloved 90 plus that we've been grinding all week long, trying to pack 99 rated footies cards. This is expiring today. Will it come back? Will EA maybe up the rating just like they did from the 93 to the 94 plus and maybe make this a 91 or a 92 plus? Maybe make it one squad EA Sports? That'd be fantastic as well. I'm hoping they do that. But other than that, there's not a lot of SBC content otherwise that is expiring today. Uh, except for the daily bronze and silver upgrades uh, and of course the 90 icon player pick as well but i don't think too many people are doing those at this stage maybe a few but if you need some bronze and silver still in the club make sure you do these before they go away the daily gold is still around so don't worry about that if you're using this one which i know a lot of you guys are to get golds to put in the crafting upgrade um, this one is still around for another week but if you need bronzes and silvers to put in your club still to get this done make sure you do your daily three of the bronze and the silver but other than that i think today is really going to come down to what player sbcs they do drop and does a 90 plus player pick or a 91 plus player pick to replace this one that's going away come back today and like we mentioned we're talking about cover star icons maybe they do go ahead and drop a footies player sbc today rodrigo's expiring uh he's going to be going away maybe they do something to replace rodrigo and they don't actually drop a cover star icon we will just have to see but defo a player sbc defo an objective today that's almost a staple always of a promo friday as a part of the hype now Let's talk about in packs, guys. And I've got a little bit of a theory today, right? We've had Team 5 in packs now for the past week. These guys are going away. We've had a 99 rated card every single week. But the problem is, is EA going to put in new cards in packs today? Are we actually going to see a footies Team 6? Or are they going to re-release some of these footies cards from Teams 1 through 5 back in packs 
as a part of today. And the more that I think about it and the more that I really start to try to make sense of what EA might be doing today, I'm really leaning towards the fact that I think they're just going to drop a team six, guys. Unfortunately, I would love to have these cards back in packs. Can you imagine 84s times 10s and having the opportunity to pack Messi and Ronaldo and Captavia and all of like the footies cards that they were re-released? EA might still be putting that in their back pocket and saving it for the preseason promo that's probably going to come after this, although I wish they wouldn't be doing that. Here's the reason why I feel this way, guys, because... Throughout footies, there's been a best of in packs the entire time. And right now, that is exactly the case. And as a part of this best of, we have guys like Messi and Ronaldo, their team of the season versions, that are in packs. And so far, there has been no best of release that has overlapped with footies cards that have been in packs as well. When Messi and Ronaldo were in team uh, two for Messi and team one for Ronaldo of footies earlier on in the promo, they were both not in the best of re-release they didn't have a single card that was in packs their gold card was in packs um, apart from when the footies was not for those each weeks they were not in packs as the footies if that makes sense so the fact that they are in the best of this week to me makes me think that ea is going to actually end up releasing a team six instead of releasing the same cards from teams one through five or a at least a set of a couple of those footies from previously released weeks back into packs i think it's going to be new cards today guys and this is one that I think might be getting a 99. This is one that I've noticed. The gold Lewandowski is in packs right now. He is not in best of batch three. You may have packed Lewandowski this week, but it was from a 90 plus player pick, which is not batch three specific. That is a completely different pool of players that is pulling from right now. I don't know if you guys have opened 84 tens and got gold Lewandowski. Gold Lewandowski is packs and that's one of the is in packs. And that's one of the only big time cards that I can think of right now that does not have a special card. So Either EA is going to break their rule today and release a card as a footies that is going to have a card that's in best of already and somehow break their rule and pull that one out of the best of batch, or they're going to go with cards that have gold items in packs right now. Some people were shouting Dybala has his gold card, you know, maybe a Gundawan transfer or something like that. Like they've, um, there's potential. They could give a lot of great footies cards out for sure. Um, but that's why I'm kind of hoping or not hoping, but that's why I'm guessing it's going to be a team six today instead of a re-release because there's been no overlap so far this year. Now, also for heroes, right? We've had a lot of great heroes that have been released, right? We've got some going out of packs today, like the Ginola that everybody's been chasing that have been amazing. Think about some other heroes that we haven't had special cards for yet during footies. Rudy Voller. We haven't had a footies for him yet. We haven't had anything for Cordoba for Peter Crouch, Smallerek, Ledley King. There could be a number of heroes released in packs today along with regular footies cards that could make up a team six and it could be pretty hype, right? I feel like 99 Lewandowski, maybe there's somebody else that we're missing out there, but they're going to have to be some big time heroes in packs today as a part of team six, if that's the route they're going to try to keep up the hype. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about that, because that's going to be one of the biggest motivating factors. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have started to feel the same way. The grind for the 84 times 10, 85 times 10, it is nice, but man, it does get a little bit old packing team of the seasons as the walkout almost every single time and chasing after the same footies cards. And today hopefully gives us an opportunity to chase after some new footies cards and packs, some great items that we will be able to try to craft um, and open packs to get other SBCs done to try to pack other previous footies through the 90 plus player pick or some other form of that refreshing today. But with new cards coming into packs today, that is going to freshen up that grind a little bit because, man, you know, I mean, it's been nice chasing Rashford, Ginola, and all those guys. But, like, something new and something to refresh that would help the menu grind a little bit, at least for me on this game as well. So, one last little thing. We've been talking about the cover star icons all week. If we're not getting Casillas as an SBC today, which is an assumption, it's not a guarantee. And if we're not getting Mateus today, which is a guarantee, that leaves the door wide open once again for a non-leaked cover star icon to still get a card today. We're talking about a rude hullet potentially. We're talking about a team of the year icon Beckham that maybe is going to get a new cover star card today. Yes, of course, that brings out the potential for R9 as well. There's no official leaks, guys, but hey, if they're going to be releasing a cover star icon today and it's not a Casillas as an SBC, which we would expect it or hope <laughs> that it wouldn't be that, 
those big names are back on the table once again. There's no leaks as of right now. There's probably going to be some more information as we get closer to the content drop today. So be watching out for that. But really, what I'm hoping for in the most today is that EA maximizes the footies cards that are in packs and the best of batch three that is there. Um, you know, not that those are going to be like upped in value in terms of the pack weight or anything like that, but I hope they give us just a better SBC other than the 90 plus, a one squad player pick. Maybe it's still a 90 plus, but one squad making it cheaper would make our lives a lot easier and we would just be able to stack a bunch of these and try our best to hit the biggest and best shapeshifter tots and footies cards to end out this promo so that's kind of the video for me today guys let me know down in the comments what you think what you're expecting what you're hoping for today i have high hopes of a big uh cover star icon i have high hopes of good cards being in packs but we will just have to see how much ea want to deliver in this late stage of august on this game if you enjoyed the video today guys drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the i'll see you guys in the stream today peace <laughs>